Firing up a rocket booster for Artemis, looking for new flight directors, and a launch date for an Earth-observing mission. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On September 2nd, we conducted a full-scale test of a solid rocket booster like the pair that will help power our Space Launch System or SLS rocket and Orion spacecraft on Artemis missions to the moon. The two boosters will provide more than 75% of the thrust produced during the first two minutes of an Artemis launch. NASA is accepting applications for new flight directors to lead highly trained teams during human missions to the International Space Station and the Moon. Qualified U.S. citizens can apply through September 10th. More details at nasa.gov careers. The launch of the Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich Earth Observing Satellite is targeted for November 10th from California's Vandenberg Air Force Base. This partnership between NASA and the European Space Agency will continue a decades-long global record of observing sea level rise from space. The largest ever study of glacial lakes used 30 years of NASA satellite data to find that the volume of these lakes worldwide has increased by about 50% since 1990 as glaciers melt and retreat due to climate change. The findings could help us determine hazards to communities downstream of these lakes, more accurately estimate sea level rise, and better understand how glacial meltwater is transported to oceans. After being suspended in mid-March due to COVID-19, the Sophia Flying Observatory is back to science operations. With new procedures in place to ensure the safety and health of those on board, the project plans to resume its regular schedule of about four observational flights each week to study the chemistry of galaxies. Results from a pair of NASA research projects being flown as part of Boeing's 2020 Eco Demonstrator program could help the ongoing effort to develop technology for quieter, more fuel-efficient future aircraft, as well as fewer operational flight delays. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov talk.